brothers and sisters. Today, and as usual, I want to share with you a message that I believe will touch the depths of your hearts and bring comfort to your souls. Life, as we know it, is filled with trials and tribulations. Each one of us carries burdens, faces uncertainties, and encounters obstacles. In the midst of all this, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But let me share this truth with you. A source of strength that has stood the test of time. God will solve your problems. Yes, my friends, the Almighty, the Creator of the universe, is aware of every struggle you face. He knows your heart, your pain, your worries, and your deepest desires. So, dear friends, I encourage you to stay with me until the end to understand this message and leave your comment with Amen. May God bless you. In the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. This simple yet profound statement holds the key to unlocking the divine intervention in our lives. Be still doesn't mean sitting idly and doing nothing. It means finding a quiet confidence in the midst of life's storms. It means trusting that God is in control, even when everything around us seems chaotic. You might be asking, how can I be still when my problems seem insurmountable? It's about surrendering your worries, your fears, and your doubts to God. It's about acknowledging that there is a higher power at work and His ways are beyond our understanding. When you are still, you create space for miracles to unfold. God's timing is perfect, and His solutions are beyond our imagination. As you trust in Him, you allow His divine hand to guide your steps, open doors, and bring about the changes needed in your life. Remember, the same God who parted the Red Sea, who healed the sick, and who raised the dead is the God who walks with you today. Your problems are not too big for him to handle. He is the master problem, solver, and his love for you is immeasurable. Let's reflect on the beauty of being still in the presence of God. It's not merely a passive stance, but an active surrender, a deliberate choice to let go of our anxieties and place our trust in the hands of the Almighty. Being still is an act of faith a recognition that our human understanding is limited and God's wisdom surpasses our comprehension. In the stillness, we find a sanctuary where our souls connect with the divine, where we can hear the gentle whispers of God's guidance amidst the noise of the world. Think about the story of Elijah in the Bible. In 1 Kings 19, after a great victory, Elijah faced a threat and fear gripped his heart. He found himself in the wilderness, and God didn't speak through the mighty wind, the earthquake, or the fire. Instead, God spoke in a gentle whisper. It was in the stillness that Elijah heard the reassuring voice of his Creator. Likewise, in the stillness of your own life, God may speak to you in ways you least expect. It might be through a comforting word from a friend, a passage from Scripture, or an unexpected turn of events that brings clarity to your situation. I want you to picture a garden. In that garden, there are flowers that bloom, and there are weeds that threaten to choke the life out of them. Our worries, fears, and doubts are like those weeds. When we choose to be still, it's akin to pulling out those weeds and making room for the flowers of hope, faith, and peace to flourish. It's important to understand that being still doesn't mean we won't face challenges or difficulties. Rather, it empowers us to face them with a spirit grounded in faith. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, we're encouraged. Do not be anxious about anything. In these words, God invites us to bring our concerns to Him, not as a last resort, but as our first response. In that exchange of burdens, we find peace that surpasses understanding. It's a peace that guards our hearts and minds, allowing us to navigate life with a confidence 
that can only come from the Creator of all things. So, my dear friends, in the stillness of this moment, I urge you to open your hearts to God. Surrender your worries, your fears, and your doubts. Trust that He who spoke the universe into existence is more than capable of orchestrating the details of your life. Let the words of Psalms, yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to Him. For God is our refuge. Beloved, I want to reiterate the timeless truth that God will solve your problems. And in this reaffirmation, let us discover the enduring strength it offers. Our human nature often inclines us to strive for control, to map out our destinies with meticulous precision. Yet there are moments when life takes unexpected turns and the road ahead appears shrouded in mist. It is precisely in these moments that God beckons us to be still, to release the grip of our perceived control and to allow His divine guidance to illuminate our path. In Isaiah 41, 10, we find a reassuring promise. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words echo through the corridors of time, resonating with the unwavering assurance that God is not a distant observer but an intimate companion in the tapestry of our lives. To truly understand the depth of this promise, let us reflect on the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. Joseph faced betrayal, imprisonment, and seemingly insurmountable challenges. However, through unwavering faith and trust in God's plan, he emerged from the depths of adversity to become a beacon of hope and salvation for his people. Similarly, God's plan for your life extends beyond the confines of your current circumstances. It is a plan crafted with wisdom, guided by love, and rooted in a future filled with hope. However, it requires us to be still, to surrender our anxieties and fears, to lay down our burdens at the feet of the Almighty. In Psalm 34, 17, 18, we find solace. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. These verses unveil a divine invitation to call upon God in our moments of need, for He is not a distant deity, but a compassionate Father, ready to listen and deliver. As we sail through the unknown waters, let us heed the words of Psalm 46, 1, 3. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. My friends, I encourage you to be still not in resignation, but in confident anticipation of God's transformative power. Embrace the promise that He will solve your problems, and in His time and in His way, He will lead you through the storms into a place of peace, joy, and fulfillment. Now, open your hearts to pray with me this prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts recognizing your sovereignty and acknowledging your unwavering love. In the stillness of this moment, we open our hearts to your presence, knowing that in your divine embrace, we find solace, strength, and purpose. Lord, we lift up those who carry heavy burdens, those whose hearts are weighed down by the challenges of life. You see the struggles, the tears, and the silent cries of each soul. 
We entrust these burdens into your capable hands, trusting that you are a God who cares, a God who hears, and a God who answers prayers. Father, touch the hearts of those who feel lost and alone. Wrap them in the warmth of your love, reminding them that they are never forsaken. Let your comforting presence be a balm to their wounded spirits, bringing healing and restoration for those facing financial difficulties, job uncertainties, or overwhelming stress. We ask for your provision, guidance, and peace that surpasses understanding. You are the God of abundance, and we trust in your ability to meet every need according to your glorious riches. Lord, heal those who are suffering physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Your word declares that by your stripes we are healed. We claim the promise of your healing touch upon each body, mind, and soul that needs restoration. We lift up our families, friends, and communities. May your love permeate our relationships, bringing reconciliation where there is strife and unity, where there is division, strengthen marriages, mend broken bonds, and instill a spirit of forgiveness in our hearts. Lord, we pray for leaders around the world, asking for wisdom, discernment, and a heart for justice. Guide them in making decisions that promote peace, equality, and the well-being of all people. In Jesus' name, we pray, believing that your love, grace, and mercy will touch the hearts of all who seek you. Amen.